So in today's video, we're gonna talk about washing a bike. I'm gonna show you the different chemicals and foaming sprays that I use along with the different soaps, um, as well as you know spraying down the bike with water where you wanna focus your water pressure where you don't. So from here, I think we'll take Tyler Butterfield's bike out and get to work. So now we're outside of the bike. This is Tyler Butterfield's bike. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty dirty. So now I'll walk you through the steps with how to clean it. With the bike in the stand, the first thing I'll do is I'll use a simple green. Um, this is a uh, mix 50-50. So go ahead and do that and just start by kind of spraying the whole bike down. Uh, get the cassette, the chain, the chain rings basically everything. This won't hurt anything. Get some on the seat. Brakes. Don't be afraid to get your arm pads wet. It all dries out. I think that's pretty good. Then go ahead and do the same thing to the front wheel. Just kind of spray the rim, get the hub. So once the whole bike's sprayed down, what I'll do is I'll kind of let it sit for a few minutes. Um, just kind of let the, the degreaser do its work. Then we'll move on to the hose and the soap and brush. So now that the Simple Green's kind of been sitting on there doing its magic, um, now you can go ahead and take your hose and hose everything off. You want to hose it off first before you start scrubbing it. That way in case uh, there's any dirt or contaminants on there, you're not actually like using the brush and scrubbing the dirt into the frame and uh, uh, causing scratches. So. Go ahead and take the hose. I'm gonna do a light coat. Um, I'm not gonna force water into any areas right now. So we'll just kind of hose it off and then we'll move to the soap and brush. Once the bike's hosed down, I'll go ahead and just take uh, my brush and uh, just some soap. That's all this is, just like some, some soap and water. And I'll go ahead and start from the front of the bike, scrubbing everything, um, working my way all the way to the back. And then I'll go ahead and do the front wheel as well. You want to make sure to get like the bottom of the base bar, the top, and get your extensions, the fork legs inside and out, and then you just kind of work your way along the whole frame here. I won't use this brush to focus on the drivetrain too much. This is mainly just like for the frame and the wheels. Um, and I have a separate brush, it's a little bit harder bristled to clean the drivetrain when we get to that. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the hose and we're just gonna rinse it off one more time. Now all the soap's pretty much rinsed off the frame. Um, we'll go ahead and just move on to the drivetrain. Um, for this, you can use like any kind of foaming degreaser. This one's by WD-40. They all pretty much do the same thing. Um, and you, what you want to do is you just want to like coat your whole drivetrain with it. So we'll go ahead and apply the foam to the cassette and the drivetrain. Once the foam fully um, expands and the whole thing's coated, we'll let it sit for a few minutes and we'll move to the harder bristled brush. Then we'll go ahead and we'll start scrubbing the cassette, the chain and the chain rings. So you want to make sure this stuff's shaking up pretty good. That way it can fully foam. And then just start Applying it. So there's the cassette. Move the derailleur and the pulleys. And then lightly coat the chain. It doesn't, sometimes it doesn't really stick very well to the chain, but you can still get it on there and it'll, it'll do its magic. And I'll lightly get some on the front derailleur here as well. I'm happy with that and we'll go ahead and just let it sit and then we'll start scrubbing it. So now that the foam's set up, we're gonna go ahead and use our harder bristle brush and we're gonna go ahead and start scrubbing the cassette and the derailleur and move our way up to the front chain ring. And you'll see the, the foam will go from white to gray and that's how you know it's getting rid of a lot of that dirt. And just keep rotating the cassette around. So I'll just move on to the derailleur and the pulley cage. And 
Now that we've scrubbed everything off, I'm gonna hit the simple green again. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of coat this whole half of the bike and then kind of lightly go over the, the front half again. Now let's kind of go ahead and rinse it off again. Flushing out all the degreaser. Now if you saw, I kind of move the hose back and forth. And the reason why I do that is because I'm not focusing the area on one specific component. Um, and the, the reason why I do that is because even though these bearings are sealed um, in any scenario, water can still find its way in. And you just really don't want to force water into those areas. So now that we're done washing the bike, we'll go ahead and bring it inside for a final wipe down. You can do this by using any frame polish that you'd like, but I highly recommend using a lint-free cloth. Um, this way it doesn't leave any residue behind, especially like on matte finished frames, and it won't scratch the paint either. So I'll just start from the front of the bike and move backwards. It's kind of what I like to do. Any painted surface basically, just make it nice and shiny. So now that your frame's all wiped down, everything's clean, now you can proceed to get it dirty again.